right guys today's hair is from Wiggins hair and I'm super excited because I got a closure wig so yeah today's unit is their deep wave 6x6 lace closure wig and I do have her in 24 inches and I do have their medium brown lace but I'm gonna go ahead and continue to unbox so you guys can see what else you will be receiving So this is the unit straight out the package. I love it, y'all. It's so freaking beautiful. I'm crying. It didn't have a smell when it's very, very soft. So this is construction. It does come with three combs in total, as you can see, and it does include drawstrings. This is what your unit will look like when you take it out the box and put it on your head for the first time, okay? I've done nothing to it. This is exactly how you will be receiving your unit. Off camera, I did go ahead and pluck the unit just a little bit to extend the hairline. I did add foundation as well, just to secure the knots on the lace closure. Next, I'm taking a pair of shears and creating jagged edges to, you know, just create that hairline, that realistic hairline look. When I notice you cut straight across, it just gives you a boxy look. I don't want nobody checking for my lace. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Next, I'm going in with my high insta hold by Got To Be Glue. Um, this is a high hold um, hairspray to secure down my unit. I'm also using a cool heating setting to dry my um, hairspray. You can layer it up. I just chose to do one to two layers. The key to having that frontal, that, that closure looking like a frontal is to stretch it as far as you can, okay? Not too, you know, not too much, but you want to stretch it um, close to the edge of your eyebrows, even though mine's is kind of wiping off a little bit. When I am done fully securing it, I go back and just lift up or pull back on the lace just a little bit to see if I have any lace lifting. If so, I just spray a little bit of the hairspray on the back of my rat comb and just push it down now with the silk scarf that they provided you want to go ahead and wrap this around as tight as you can get it y'all as tight as you can get it and we're going to add some hot heat okay this is going to make your unit look like scalp okay you do not want to skip this step I did let it sit for about five minutes after I added the heat and this is what she is giving us. Before we take a step further, I am going to detangle it with the wide tooth comb first starting from the bottom and working my way up. Now to create my part. A tip, quick tip, if you're having problems creating a middle part, just try to use the bridge of your nose. Just try to center it as best as you can. It's okay, sis. It's okay. Next, I'm using my bedhead wax stick. And a, a subscriber, rec well, yeah, a subscriber recommended it to me. And I was so happy when I received it because I fell in love. Y'all, this wax stick is the plug. It is the freaking plug. It just has everything nice and laid. Next, I'm going in with my hot comb just to lay down or just, you know, just straighten out my roots a little bit. I love curly hair, but I don't like it curly, that curliness at the top. I don't like that much volume.
Next, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee just to define my part. Here, I'm just going in to create swoops. I just feel like this made it look more frontal vibes if I created the swoops. I don't know. You don't have to do this stuff. It's just optional. Um, I just sprayed some of the spray just to, you know, lay everything down. All right, guys, so here we are onto our curly hair routine. My curly hair routine does often change. I try not to use the same products, but lately I have been using these products because they have just been working the best with defining my curls. But first, we're gonna go ahead and saturate the hair with water. Next, we, you wanna take a Denman brush to go ahead and brush it out to make sure the water covers the entire section. Now I'm going in with my Leave-In Detangler Milk by Miracle Curls. That's by Aussie, I love this stuff. And we're just gonna put this on first and we're gonna go ahead and scrunch up our hair all at the same time. So distribute the product and scrunch up your hair as well. Next, we're taking the Curl Reviver Cream and we're gonna place this on top and we're gonna do the same exact thing. Place it on top, scrunch it up and use your Dimnum brush to define the curls. And our last product, I'm gonna use the Frizz Taming Cream by Aussie. And y'all, this really, really helps the curls pattern forms without, you know, getting all that frizz. These three products together are amazing together. I love these products together. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair. I normally do it to about 75 to 80% dry. By the time I go to do the outro, it's like 90% dry. So um, I do switch between warm heat and cool heat on this stuff. I don't use extreme hot heat. Y'all can't come for me today. What we'll closure? I'll wait. I'll wait because where the closure? This was like a freaking frontal. But it's not. It not. So alright guys, so this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Nobody can come for me. They can't even tell me that this is a closure. Closure where? Closure where? Aware. <laughs> So yeah, I was really excited. I was getting the closure because it's 91 degrees already. It's already hot. So I didn't want something covering my whole hairline. I just want sometimes, especially in the summertime, you need for your, your just hairline to breathe a little bit. So I was glad that I picked up a closure. I don't know if this closure is the HD closure because honestly, this closure, um, the lace on the closure was very, very thin and it just made my melting process very, very easy. Also, y'all already know I rave about closures anyway because they're just super, super, super easy to the install. They're so quick and convenient and like you literally can just go out the door. So, um, love closures. So, overall, I love, love, love working with this unit, y'all. Um, I did go into the, um, lace and pluck the, um, hairline back a little bit just so it could just you know look a little bit more of a natural they already did pluck it but i just extended the hairline back the knots did not come bleach um i just added foundation underneath of it to blend it in um when i first took the hair out of the package the hair was nice and soft and it was silky um i did go in when i did first go into the tangle before i did my curly hair routine um the hair did tangle just a little bit that was because it was the first time to tangle the hair so i took my brush and i did get some ted i mean some tangles here and there but after i fully detangled the hair the tangles you know 
was non-existent so it didn't continue to tangle on me um the hair also did shed mind you i did pluck the unit and i also um cut the lace off the unit so that is going to contribute to shedding as well i love 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 this unit look at the curls on this y'all this is so popping i really feel like it's cute for the summer or like i feel like curly wigs anyway is good for like the beach it's good for like water parks and stuff like that because when your hair get wet okay when your hair get wet you're gonna have pretty pretty curls um i didn't let it fully dry it's probably like it's probably 90 percent dry because it is hot like i said it's like one degree so it is already hot so um when you're out and about your hair is just gonna dry naturally it's not like it's cold so yeah i love the length of this unit as well it's not too um long and the density is just perfect it's not too thick where i'm just like whoa child Woo! you know it's not giving me none of the vibes so really 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 enjoyed working with this unit hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think of this unit in the comment section below all information will be there in regards to this unit and copy this unit i'm telling you i'm telling you y'all freaking flawless what closure what closure like sis what closure so yeah i'm gonna talk to you guys later bye guys